What's the coolest thing you could add to your outdoor kitchen that will guarantee that your kids will wanna spend more time outdoors? It turns out slushy machines aren't just for gas stations anymore. I got an email a few months back from Viver asking me if I'd like to shoot a review of their slushy machine and add it to our outdoor kitchen. Now I had yet to work with any Viver products and I was intrigued since my kids are just crazy for slushies. Every time we pass the Speedway gas station here in town, it's, Dad, can we stop and get a slushie? Please, Dad? And it all started when we caught COVID early in the year and everyone had sore throats for a week. Now we medicated our sore throats with slushies from the local gas station and the kids have craved them ever since. So we knew that we wanted to add one to the outdoor kitchen. So let's start with a disclaimer. Viver sent me this unit to review and share my thoughts on in this video. They didn't tell me what I could or couldn't say. These thoughts outline my experience with the unit and I hope they're helpful for any of you considering buying something like this. So here's the second disclaimer. This unit is not designed to be used outside. This is an indoor unit, but most of our use has been outdoors in the outdoor kitchen and out at local events. So none of these are ideal conditions sitting inside the air conditioning, making it easy for this machines. Got it? Now that being said, let me show you how this unit works. This machine can hold up to 15 liters or four gallons of beverage in a single batch. What that meant for me right away, since we were using it for the family and for entertaining, was not how much could it make, but how little could it make, since there's just four of us most of the time. I found that 20 cups is a good minimum mixture amount for the times that it's just for the family and maybe a neighbor or two, because that amount will cover the evaporator and chill the entire mixture. To chill a mixture using slushy syrup and cold water took about 30 minutes for 20 cups outside. Now for the full four gallons of slush, we were able to chill an entire load to slushy consistency in about 60 to 90 minutes indoors. Now it's not just slushy though that this unit is designed to work with. You can also set the unit to cool drinks instead of freeze them. Instead of hitting the slush button, just hit the cool drink button and it sets the evaporator to a different cycle to keep drinks cold but not frozen. There's an interior bowl light that illuminates the drink inside, and it's a whole different look when the light is on. If you're serving drinks that are bright in color, it really just makes that color pop and people are drawn to it. We use this machine outside most of the time, and we've used it in weather from 60 degrees to more than 100 degrees, and it will slush drinks even in the summer heat. Now, the warmer it is outside, the more you'll want to customize the slush temperature to find the sweet spot between the weather outside and the liquid inside. One thing you'll notice is that the outside of the drink chamber will start to drip water from the air temperature being warmer than the plastic liquid container, and that liquid will slide down the plastic container and drip into the tray underneath the drink machine. Initially, I thought I'd need to clean that up since there was so much condensation, but there's a handy drain that's built in so that the condensation is sent straight to the drip tray under the serving nozzle. Now the lower drip tray is easily removable, so when it fills up, it's easy to remove and empty. Now we've used this machine for large groups and small with all types and flavors of slush. We started off with a grape flavored slush for a family reunion that we hosted here at the lab. We were just learning the machine and it turns out that Addy is a slushy machine whisperer because when the mixture wasn't doing what we had hoped it would, she dove into the settings to cool off the evaporator to make up for the Indiana July weather. About 10 minutes with the new setting and we had slush to share. Now next up was a pina colada mix that was a crowd favorite. We've served this two or three times now for different groups and it doesn't last long before it's gone. We asked a few families what flavor they wanted before they came over for dinner, and the resounding answer is almost always blue raspberry. We've served it to neighbors, kids wandering by, friends and family, and we even took the slushy machine to a large gathering of kids at a local church to test the full 15 liter capacity for about 125 middle and high schoolers. Now this is where we learned that the outdoor limitations of the slushy machine are met when you're working at maximum capacity outdoors. 
In smaller batches, the machine can slush liquid no problem outdoors, but when you fill it to the very top of the beverage tank, you'll push it to the limit. Now we arrived two hours prior to the event start, plugged in the slush machine and filled it to the top. After two hours of working to turn the mixture to slush, we had a mostly slush consistency. We found that the portion of the mixture that had slushed first rose to the top and the bottom stayed liquid, but eventually that all settled out. We handed out 85 servings in eight ounce glasses and there were blue tongues and lips everywhere you looked. Now the last two times we've fired up the slushy machine, we've tried frozen Coke and apple cider slushies and both of those are winners. I admit that my favorite slush that we've made to date is the apple cider slush. And since fall is almost upon us, I have a feeling that we'll be making that one many more times between now and the end of the year. Now the frozen Coke was certainly a hit with the kids and it brings to mind how to know if the liquid you want to slush will actually slush. It is recommended to use a liquid that has a sugar content of 13% or higher in this unit. Now that's one of the reasons that alcoholic beverages like wine isn't recommended to be used in slush mode. There's not enough sugar in the mixture for it to slush correctly. Now you can slush alcoholic drinks, but aiming for a mixture with at least 13% sugar should be what you're aiming for to achieve slushy success. Now, when it comes to cleaning the machine after use, it's not nearly as hard as I feared it might be when I first looked at it. The plastic beverage container slides off the evaporator coil, and it's best to make sure all of the liquid has been drained from the container before you take it off. Remember that anything left inside will pour out as soon as you detach it, but as long as you drain the container so nothing comes out of the spout, anything that's left will be caught in the drip tray and funnel its way down to the lower removable drip tray. You'll wanna make sure that the lower drip tray is empty before taking off the beverage container because oftentimes I'll mostly fill the lower tray when I pull off the container and if it's already full, you'll have a mess on your hands. The mixing stir comes off easily once the beverage container is removed and both can be hand washed with dish soap. There are two seals that also need to be washed between uses, one on the back of the evaporator and one on the front of the unit. If you want to check the current price on this model, we put a link in the description below. So head on over, check the price and see if there's any details that we left out in this review. Now, if you do click the link in the description and make a purchase, you'll be supporting our channel and our entire family thanks you. It doesn't cost you a penny more to use our link, but it means the absolute world to us. I'm David Gafford from the Barbecue Lab, and if you're into outdoor cooking, please consider subscribing to our channel. We're on all the major social networks from Instagram and Facebook to TikTok and Twitter, so head on over where you can see behind the scenes of what's going on here at the lab. Now we've got some content coming up that we've been working on for six months. So hit that notification button so you don't miss out on the best in outdoor cooking. I can't wait to see you next time.